Hi students and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian and I'm streaming to you from beautiful Victoria here on the west coast of Canada. I hope everybody is off to an awesome weekend. Hi Dharmendra, Mahi, Rohit, Lando. Good to see many students in the class. Welcome Bakrat and Kuak. Welcome to our members as well. Students, in this class we are looking at IELTS uh, speaking part two, talking about our favorite dessert. Um, exciting and kind of a fun topic today. Definitely a topic you could get for your part two cue card. Um, part two cue card can be about an object. Um, so an object that you purchased or an item that you sold, that you traded that you lost, or potentially your favorite dessert. You never know. Maybe that one will be a good topic for many of you as most of us kind of have a favorite dessert that we really like. Uh, welcome uh, Cass or Ashika. Good to see more members joining in. And students, this is um, a class on March 18th and it's a subscribers chat class. We want to encourage you to uh, subscribe to this channel uh, so that you can join this chat and also so that you get lots of materials to help you improve for your next IELTS exam. Welcome Carolina, our chat moderator. All right, everybody. So uh, this lesson is presented to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS. Visit us there for the general IELTS. Check us out at gieltshelp.com on both of these websites. We've got tons of materials for you. Um, we will be using the website today uh, to um, help you with your uh, speaking. This is our academic IELTS website here. Click that big red button to join our premium package. It's a one-time payment uh, for lifetime access. So it doesn't cost a lot, it's worth every penny. We help hundreds, thousands of students every year to succeed in IELTS. Um, you just click on this big red button and then use the discount code one band up. It's a code that we have for the next couple of days um, to get 20% off of the premium package. General IELTS, same idea. Okay, same idea. GIELTSHelp.com. Uh, get our apps, Academic IELTS Help, General IELTS Help, get Instagram or follow Instagram, IELTS underscore AE Help and G IELTS Help. All right, Aisha says, my speaking exam is on the 21st of March. Please advise me. That's what I am here to do. Cass says, I have a sweet tooth. Well, we'll talk about that sweet tooth here in a moment. Sweet tooth is an expression in English which means somebody who likes sweets, likes the taste of candy and cake and all that is good and sweet. Okay, join us. Use that code. Uh, students, we've got speaking part two right now. Tomorrow we will have speaking part three and then we'll have speaking part one also. Um, it says everyone, but these will actually be subscribers chat classes. If you have questions, send me an email. Adrian at aehelp.com. Okay, uh, here are the questions for this cue card. So this is kind of like what you would get. So you're in your IELTS speaking exam, you finished part one, you're doing a good job. The examiner says that is the end of part one. We will now continue with part two. For this part, I will show you some questions. Please do not touch the booklet. You have some note paper and a pen in front of you. You will have one minute to read the questions, think about your answers. You can take notes in that time if you wish and then you will have one to two minutes to speak. I will tell you when to start and when to stop. Talk about your favorite dessert. Your one minute preparation time begins now. 
okay, what do you do, right? That's the question that should be floating around in your mind right now. What do you do? I'll show you what you do. Okay, so um, there's a very effective strategic way to go about getting a high band score uh, for the speaking part to cue card questions, okay? Heavy driver memes, um, pay attention. This could really help you for your exam tomorrow. Okay, uh, so um, here we go everyone. This is our cue card. Now, step number one is read the cue card twice carefully. Step one, uh, read the card twice carefully. So you answer all the questions and stay on topic. Okay, let's do that now. So here is our cue card. Part two, talk about your favorite dessert. What is it? Where do you eat it? When do you especially like eating it? What do other people think about it? Why do you like this dessert more than others? Okay, one more time. Talk about your favorite dessert. What is it? Where do you eat it? When do you especially like eating it? Um, what do other people think about it? Why do you like this dessert more than others? Okay, step two. Identify the category. Are you talking about a person? an object, an idea, an event, um, or a place. In this case, we are talking about a dessert, and a dessert falls under the category of, let's see what our viewers are thinking. Is it a person? No, it's not a person. Is it an event? Yeah, not really. Yeah, it's an object. That's right, it's an item. Food, food is an object, right? Of course. Okay, uh, so in this case, we're talking about an object. Object, okay? When you talk about an object, you should describe it. Okay, what is this object? Describe it, all right? Um, you should talk about its origin. Where does it come from? Where do you get it? Okay, how much does it cost, right? Um, you should talk about its function. What does it do? Believe it or not, desserts actually have function, okay? And then talk about its importance. Why is it important to you? If you go through these step by step, A, B, C, C and D. Um, you will do a great job. You will likely answer all the questions on the cue card and you will have good structure. Good structure. And the tense, identify the tense, the verb tense. So you have to think, um, am I speaking past? Uh, present, future, all of them? What am I doing here? Okay, um, some questions don't ask you to speak about the past, present, and the future. So there's no, there's no PPF strategy in all the questions. So be really careful, okay? Sometimes they're just curious about the past, okay? The childhood memory or where you went to school. Um, but sometimes, you know, they're interested in more. Uh, this one here, what is it? Where do you eat it? When do you especially like eating it? What do you like? Okay, uh, this is a lot of present tense. So if I look at this question here, and I'm looking at the verb tenses, okay, I should pretty quickly realize that I've got a lot of present tense here. So mostly I'm focusing on present tense. That's the dominant tense here. 
Okay. So use present, present progressive, uh, present perfect. As I'm talking about my favorite dessert now, Cass is saying simple present. Okay. Um, Arun, do not think of the examiner as your friend. That's a bad idea. We talk to our friends differently than we talk to examiners, okay? All right. Uh, think about the examiner as your grandfather or your grandmother. You speak respectfully to them. Clearly, they don't know what you know, okay? That's a little bit of a side note. I see people in the chat are talking about, oh, how to do this, how to do that. Um, students, do not think about, okay? Arun, I'm going to have to contradict you here. Okay, so uh, do not, okay, so do not think of the examiner as your friend. This is a professional conversation and the examiner does not know what you know or what your friend knows. Our friends tend to know a lot about us. We tend to use a very different type of communication with our friends than with strangers. Okay, so keep that in mind. We use a very different type of communication uh, with a friends uh, than with strangers. Okay, you wouldn't talk to your boss like you talk to your friend. Don't talk to the examiner like your friend, okay? Uh, instead, I will tell you, think of the uh, examiner as your grandfather. Um, they're kind, but they do not know what you know, and you have to speak loud, and clear with detail so they can make sense of what you say. Okay, so think of the examiner more of like kind of as like your grandfather, your grandmother um, instead of your friend. Okay, all right, so that works a little bit better. Okay, side note. All right, um, so step one, we read this question twice about our favorite dessert. Step two, we identified this category as uh, uh, an object. We understand that we have to describe the object, its origin, its function, its uh, importance. This is how we create structure. We know that we're talking about this in the present tense, okay? Topic is a favorite dessert. Now, next step, step three, think of two to three good ideas to choose from. Remember students, your first idea might not be your best idea. even if it is the truth, okay? So maybe your, fur, your favorite dessert is tiramisu. Um, but maybe you can't pronounce it. Maybe you're like tramusu, tramasu, tramusu, okay? If your favorite dessert is tiramisu, but you can't pronounce it, probably don't talk about it, okay? Because you're not going to get a very good mark if you're talking about a dessert that you can't pronounce. Maybe your favorite dessert is baklava, Okay, the Greek dessert. But you have no idea how to say honey because baklava has a, one of the main ingredients is honey. Don't talk about it, okay? So don't choose a dessert that you can't describe, that you can't talk about, okay? Uh, there are definitely some uh, desserts that I cannot talk about because they're extremely uh, complex. I know one that a lot of people have trouble, including myself, is macarons. Okay, people say macaroons. They're not macaroons, they're macarons. And they're quite a complex, tasty little treat uh, made with eggs. But if I were in IELTS, I would not talk about macarons because macarons 
are tricky to talk about, okay? Uh, Said says maybe halva, famous Turkish dessert, halva. Yeah, um, I'd have trouble talking about halva as well. Uh, Simran, look at you go. Simran says, think about simple things like cake, ice cream, uh, pudding. Okay, um, these are too general. Okay, you need to be more specific. There are a lot of different types of cake, ice cream, and pudding. Okay, so you have to be more specific. All right. Um, so what you have to keep in mind, students, and this is a really important tip, is choose the one that is easy to talk about uh, and there is a lot of content okay easy to talk about lots of content how about how about strawberry ice cream does everybody like strawberry ice cream i know i do right maybe it's not my favorite uh, dessert in the world but i could sell it to you as my favorite dessert in the world um Everybody knows strawberry ice cream, right? It's specific, so you're not just saying ice cream, you're saying it's strawberry ice cream. Um, and uh, I bet that most of you could really talk a lot about enjoying ice cream because there's a lot of content around it. So if you're thinking about ice cream, where you can buy it, when you eat it, when you like to eat it, what it's made of, um, I think most of us, if not all of us, could talk for one to two minutes about strawberry ice cream. Ayan says, I'm tickled pink for ice cream. Sure. Okay, so ice cream's a good one. Let's take some notes. Okay. Uh, step four, once you have a good topic, so you have a good topic like strawberry ice cream, Then take some notes. So the appearance. What does strawberry ice cream look like? <laughs> um, so Kuwak says mango ice cream. Sure, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's chocolate ice cream or mango ice cream or mint ice cream or in Japan, green tea ice cream. Um, so it doesn't matter, right? Uh, as long as you have a specific flavor of ice cream. So don't just say generally ice cream because the examiner will be like, okay, there's like a thousand flavors of ice cream, right? So color is pinkish. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. More about its appearance. There's actually two types of ice cream in the world. I wonder if anybody's going to uh, think about that are two categories of ice cream. Pachu says, ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. <laughs> yes, we do. Um, all right, um, very nice, Cass. So Cass says it's creamy and rich. Yeah, the appearance, sure, everything about it. Uh, maybe it's a sherbet. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Okay. Um, it can be a round scoop. Okay. Oftentimes, if you have an ice cream cone, you have a scoop of ice cream. Okay. If you remember the word scoop, that's good. Bakrat says it's cold. Yeah. You might want a cup of it. Exactly. I bet you a whole bunch of people already left this class to go to their freezer and get some ice cream. Um, all right, um, there's a soft ice cream, there's hard ice cream too, right? So maybe some people like the soft version of the ice cream, it's a little bit softer. Ooh, chunks of strawberries, yes. So strawberry bits or chunks. Absolutely. Okay, that's the appearance, origin. Where do we get it from? Yeah, 
So where do we get it from? So, <laughs> I love it. See how much information the, the chat is just going wild. People have lots of ideas around um, strawberry ice cream. Okay. Okay. Origin. Um, where do we get it? <laughs> Simran says we eat it with a beautiful spoon. Uh, normally from milk. Yeah. So made of milk. So frozen milk sugar that's its constituents right it's kind of the appearance as well but we could say origin so frozen milk sugar uh cow's milk yeah most of the time certainly from saeed says any store you walk into any store and they will have ice cream if they tell you they don't it's because they don't want to share with you i agree with you saeed i bet you even a computer store has some strawberry ice cream or ice cream stashed in the staff room Okay, so any store. No, realistically, grocery store, right? Or market. Um, an ice cream parlor, Saeed Ansari, absolutely. Ice cream parlor, uh, shop, vendor, okay. Stand, okay. If you're at a park and there's an ice cream stand, you might get it from there, right? Okay. Or you can make it yourself. Very good, Saeed. Saeed, our member, says you can just make it yourself. Look up the recipe. Yeah, you could. I'm sure you could make stra homemade strawberry ice cream. Oh, there we go, Cass. Ice cream truck. That's the at the music. If you're in North America, if you're in Canada or in the U.S. and you hear that song, it's called the Entertainer. You will see children run into the street with money. Ah! It's the ice cream truck. Okay, always plays that song, the Entertainer. Yep. I know the song well. I've ran after that song many times as a child. So the ice cream truck. Okay. I wonder if that I wonder if that exists in other countries, ice cream trucks. Do children run after ice cream trucks in other countries as well? Probably. Kuak says, I've never seen an ice cream truck in my life. Well, Kuak, it's time for you to visit the US or Canada in the summertime and you will hear an ice cream truck. Okay. All right, so lots of origin. Now, stay in control. So when you're doing your uh, speaking for the cue card, stay in control, right? So lots of good ideas, it's fantastic, but it could also be dangerous because you might have so many ideas that you're having trouble focusing your communication. So make sure that you focus your communication, okay? All right. Okay, uh, from an ice cream machine, yeah, from a... Uh, from a vending machine even, yeah, sure. There are definitely ice cream vending machines out there, I've seen those. Okay, so that's the origin, it's function. What is the function of ice cream? I bet you are gonna, going to get some pretty funny uh, responses here. Um, so what is the uh, function of uh, ice cream? Ayan says, in my country, they sell it on a tricycle. Yeah, I've seen bicycle ice cream. We have it here too in Canada, bicycle or tricycle ice cream vendors. Yeah, ice cream stands. Yeah, there you go. Milk says, it's to make people happy. Absolutely. <laughs> Issa says, it's to feed the soul. I agree. Kuak says to boost our serotonin levels. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Lando says to cool down on a hot day. Sure. Enjoyments. Hugh Newman says it's a bit of sweetness. Ramesh can make desserts. Ramesh is a pastry chef. Ooh, Ramesh, homemade ice cream. I'm coming to your house. Okay. Uh, Carolina says it's to make kids fat. <laughs> right. Um, I don't know if anybody has uh, written this one down. To help with depression. Having a bad day? 
Nothing like a bowl of ice cream and a bit of TV to help you, <laughs> right? Um, so lots and lots of uh, good answers there. All right, the experience. Ramesh, I'm coming. Um, all right, the experience, right? So what is your experience with ice cream? So maybe from like the age of three to now, You maybe have uh, strawberry ice cream at least once a month in some context or another, okay? Um, it has, lot. there's lots of memories, okay? Summertime, beach, etc. All right, we're on a roll. Whew. I hope some of you get this part two cue card question in the future. Talk about your favorite food or your favorite. This one, by the way, would work for a lot of topics. So talk about your favorite dessert. Talk about your favorite food. Uh, talk about an object that makes you happy. Okay. Um, talk about an object that you buy regularly. So think about all these different cue card topics where you could talk about ice cream. Okay. Um, something that's popular in the summertime. Um, an object that you like uh, when it's hot outside or that you use when it's hot. So there's lots of different um, different cue card topics where you could talk about ice cream. And as Pachu says, you scream ice cream. We all scream for ice cream. Okay, um, so next step, step five, is to get your first sentence ready. Okay, so first sentence. You want to have your first sentence ready before, before your one minute is up. Okay, so before the examiner says your one minute is up, you need that first sentence so you can be fluent. Okay, so have it ready. Okay. El Dorado, you could definitely talk about a popsicle. Well, I'd probably just stick to ice cream though. All right, um, so let's get our first sentence ready. Let's see how you do. I'm going to get my first sentence ready. So my all time favorite dessert has to be strawberry ice cream. I'm just going to start really clear, simple and confident. Okay, your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. My all time favorite dessert has to be strawberry ice cream. This dessert is made of frozen milk, sugar, and um, pureed uh, strawberries. Okay, I have no idea, pureed, oh yeah, it's got that hyphen even, pureed, um, strawberries, pureed means it's like mixed in, okay, um, often with bits of strawberries added, it is frozen and cold, light pink in color and it has a smooth and light texture i don't know about you but i'm definitely my mouth is watering i gotta maybe i'll run off and get some ice cream you guys mind if i eat some ice cream um no uh i won't do that because it's uh barely even 7 30 in the morning here for me so that would not be a healthy way to start my day before breakfast to eat ice cream right and i actually have some strawberry ice cream in my freezer i just remembered so i have a napolitan ice cream which is uh, strawberry vanilla and chocolate Ooh. um all right so uh here we go, students, first sentence ready always, and then the examiner will say, okay, your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking, and then you start. So my all-time favorite dessert has to be strawberry ice cream. This dessert is made of frozen milk, sugar, and pureed strawberries, often with pit bits of strawberries added. It is frozen and cold, light pink in color, and it has a smooth and 
yeah, I already said light, so let's say fluffy uh, texture. Okay. I can eat it on its own or um, in an ice cream cone, waffle ice cream cone. Okay. All right, and here all I'm doing is I'm going through my notes. So remember your notes, remember the appearance, um, remember the origin, okay? Um, remember the function and remember your experience. And of course, don't forget about the part two cue card. So you have to check these while you're speaking in that one to two minutes, okay? That's why you have these in front of you. So in part one and part three, you don't have any object in front of you during the speaking. It's just you speaking with the examiner. But in part two, you have your notes. You have the questions. They're there so that you can use them, okay? Bharat says, my favorite dessert that I love to have once uh, each weekend is strawberry ice cream. It's pinkish cold and made of cow's milk. It's in different shapes with chunks and bits in it. Very nice, Bharat. Nicely done. Ken says, in the Philippines, we eat it with a bun. Laugh out loud. Okay, it's a bit different. Um, sometimes uh, people have uh, what's called a float in North America where they eat strawberry ice cream with Coca-Cola and a glass of Coca-Cola or root beer. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Kuak says, my all-time favorite dessert has to be mango ice cream. This dessert is made of milk, sugar, and mango. It's frozen and cold, sweet, the color is orange, and it has a pretty enjoyable texture. Very nice. It sounds like a lot of you would do a really great job talking about ice cream for part two. Okay, um, so let's keep going. I'm going to put together this part two response and just bear with me and copy me, okay? So speak, this is a speaking class, so make sure to speak and repeat. Okay, do this as I do it, okay? So one more time, my all-time favorite dessert has to be strawberry ice cream. This dessert is made of frozen milk, sugar, and pureed strawberries, often with bits of strawberries added. It is frozen and cold, light pink in color, and it has a smooth and fluffy texture. I can eat it on its own or in a waffle ice cream cone. Fortunately, strawberry ice cream is available from many places, including uh, most grocery stores, vending machines, ice cream trucks, and if I have time and ingredients, I can even make it at home. I like to have strawberry ice cream when I'm uh, craving uh, sweet flavors. And on a hot day, when I want to cool myself off a bit, or when I feel a bit down on my luck, and I need soul food to help cheer me up. There is nothing better than digging in into a bucket of strawberry ice cream. Okay, just flying along, right? There's so much content. Um, okay, uh, in fact, ice cream is also a social food. I love to invite 
my friends and my family out on uh, summer weekends to the ice cream parlor where surely I will choose the strawberry flavor. Okay. So uh, um, that's the uh, function, right? Lots about the function also going on towards the importance. And I can see that people are writing in the chat, which is great. Okay, Kuak, keep it to yourself. So when the question asks you, what is your favorite ice cream? Don't talk about what we can do or what people can do with ice cream, but talk about um, what you can do with ice cream. Okay, um, so uh, here we go. I have loved, now look at this present perfect coming here. I have loved this flavor of ice cream since my early childhood i would say like the age of four okay i have a lot of fond memories uh eating um strawberry ice cream such as when my parents uh, took me to uh, Beacon Hill Park near my house and always bought me a uh, scoop on the way home. Even when I just think of this ice cream or see an ad, it brings a smile to my face okay now at this point i definitely want to check my card and make sure i'm not missing any um questions so part two cue card talk about your favorite dessert what is it where do you eat it i kind of talked about that when do you especially like eating it what do other people think about it why do you like this dessert more than others okay these last two questions i can definitely emphasize a bit more okay i do believe that most people love ice cream and the strawberry flavor is very popular as it is found in abundance in stores um, <clears throat> around the world. Okay. <clears throat> All right, just a second, clearing my throat. Maybe, ice, maybe I'm eating too much ice cream. That's why I've got a raspy throat. Got a bit of a cold. I'm all right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so uh, that last question. Uh, why do you like this dessert more than others? Um, I like this ice cream more than others because of its sweet and tangy flavor and because of its texture, okay? And then the examiner will probably stop you there. Now, I'm moving along nice and smooth here because don't worry, students, I will give you a chance to practice this with me, okay? So first, let's go through this answer together and then you will have a chance to volunteer and talk to me about your favorite dessert. And if it's strawberry ice cream, you can use this um, text that we're practicing with. So here we go, everyone. Repeat after me, okay? I'm going to count down and then I'll begin. So three, two, one. My all-time favorite dessert has to be strawberry ice cream. This dessert is made of frozen milk, sugar, and pureed strawberries. 
often with bits of strawberries added. It is frozen and cold, light pink in color, and it has a smooth and fluffy texture. I can eat it on its own or in a waffle ice cream cone. Uh, fortunately, strawberry ice cream is available from many places, including most grocery stores, vending machines, ice cream trucks. And if I have time and ingredients, I can even make it at home. I like to have strawberry ice cream when I'm craving uh, sweet flavors and on a hot day when I want to cool down a bit or when I feel a bit down on my luck and I need soul food to cheer me up. There's nothing better than digging into a bucket of strawberry ice cream. In fact, ice cream is also a social food. I love to invite my friends and family out on summer weekends to uh, ice cream parlors where surely I will choose the strawberry flavor. I've loved this flavor of ice cream since my early childhood. I would say like the age of four. Um, I have a lot of fond memories eating strawberry ice cream, such as when my parents took me to Beacon Hill Park near my house and always bought me a scoop on the way home. Even when I just think of this ice cream or see an ad, it brings a smile to my face. I do believe that most people love ice cream and the strawberry flavor is very popular. It's found in abundance in stores around the world. I like this ice cream more than others because of its sweet and tangy flavor and its smooth texture. Okay, so I made a few adjustments, little corrections here and there. Um, but overall, that's uh, how it goes. Okay, let me correct the spelling here. Craving. Okay. All right. Um, so uh, hopefully you did a bit of repetition there. And now you do a bit of volunteering. Students, uh, you can volunteer to call me and uh, I will present you with this cue card. Uh, go to aehelp.com. Register an account. Click on student partner speaking, message me. My handle will be master. Say I want to volunteer. Let me show you what I mean, okay? So go to aehelp.com, it's the blue background. You can do it, uh, by the way, through the gltshelp.com too. Uh, click join now or click try demo. Go to my student account. In your my student account, end the tour. Uh, go to student partner speaking. That's that button right there. Okay, uh, student partner speaking. Uh, accept the agreement that you're going to be polite. There's nothing tricky about that agreement. It's just a simple waiver. Um, and then you will be in this interface here. And here we have uh, Daniel, Arun, Ishan, Samrika, Ramesh Kumar coming in from GILTS. Awesome. Um, Bharat and uh, Bharat is already volunteering. Let's see, Bharat has just messaged me. I heard a ping. I would like to volunteer. All right, Bharat, let's do this. So Bharat is a longtime member and student of ours. Sure. Um, are you ready, Bharat? I think you just messaged me, so you must be. And so I'll, I'll uh, maybe two or three people will have a chance today. I'm sure to practice this part two cue card speaking and then I will give some feedback, okay? All right, all right. If you're there, send me a quick message. Yeah, all right, okay, cool. Okay. So, uh, Ramesh, I see that you're ready as well. Uh, just wait a little bit. Hello, hi there. Hi, Barat, how are you? Oh. Uh, I'm doing great, and I booked my exam. My exam is on, on next week. Oh, nice. A good time to get in here and volunteer for a round of part two. Thank you. All right. Um, let's do it then. So I will hop back to the question here, and uh, we'll look at the cue card, and then just give me a nice response you can use the same idea so you can talk about ice cream as your favorite dessert if you want to be a little bit trickier you might choose like a different flavor of ice cream like chocolate ice cream or if you want to really challenge yourself you can choose a different dessert altogether okay i'll let you decide i would like to go with the same idea okay all right that's a that's smart to practice that way okay so here we go um so uh 
we are now done with part one. Now we will continue with part two for this part. Uh, you have some questions. Uh, talk about your favorite dessert. Your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. Okay. Uh, my favorite dessert that I love to have once in a weekend is strawberry ice cream. It is pinkish, um, cold, and made of cow milk. It is different. It is it is in different shape with chunks or bits in it. Uh, I mostly uh, uh, to enjoy and eat this. Uh, 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 desert in my home in my home made up by my uh, mom especially in weekend weekends when we get together each other and while watching uh, a cartoon <clears throat> and uh, other than like it can be available in uh, city market in uh, street vendor or a uh, uh, or ice cream truck but uh, like uh, yeah sometime I, when i like you know, when i when i go to my college i always visit in, in my cafeteria and having a uh, uh, one uh one or two spoon of uh, ice cream with my friend uh i believe like more uh, this test is one of the favorite uh, food of the uh, kids because they love it and uh, it is very healthy that it all it also provide a uh, uh, vitamin to the body and uh, which uh, uh, which, in, which uh, increase the flow of blood body <laughs> and uh, i like this uh, uh, i mostly like this desert uh, because it has a like, uh, defensive and textures uh, uh, all, it also make me to, two uh, minutes is up I will stop you there Bharat and now we will continue with um, part three for this part I will ask you a question related to your response and some questions connected to this topic okay uh, good all right Bharat not bad so you had the structure part down that was good um, I would say that um, the examiner would score that part two about a 5.5 to 6 range okay so 5.56 ish range I don't, um, I don't like the... sorry Barak uh, one more time please like uh, I was trying to be to give uh, like formal structure but I managed it with in between the answer yeah i think you were doing okay um my advice is um keep it personal so you started personal like you said my favorite dessert is uh, strawberry ice cream and then as you were talking more and more you started to distance yourself from your answers so you started to talk kind of about you know eventually kids and then where people can get it um keep it really personal throughout so um uh, but it was you know it was good you have to improve your fluency as well so you're using uh, natural fillers a bit too much so the uhs and ums it's not the end of the world it's okay to use those but not so much that it's slowing down your speech to the point where i'm having trouble keeping your ideas connected as the listener right so you have to be a little bit smoother and faster for that band six seven fluency okay all right um, so keep practicing. The trick is to come back to the same question, try the same answer, and then go faster and faster each time. So lots of repetitive practice around the same idea. Okay, All right. Um, also pay attention to your grammar. You had a few grammatical flaws that were a little bit uh, confusing. Make sure to record your uh, part two responses so that you can listen back to them. Okay. Yeah, these days I'm doing the, like I'm recording myself and listening again and again. Yeah, that's great. And don't just listen again and again, but also say it again and fix it and then re-record it and then listen again. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, your lexical resource was quite good. So your lexical resource, I would say, is like your vocabulary here is uh, like a band seven. 
okay? So you've got good components, just lots of practice. So lots of practice this week before your exam, okay? Yeah. All right, keep it up, Bharat, keep it up, okay? Have an awesome rest of your weekend. Uh, you too. Okay, bye, Bharat. Thank you. You're Thank welcome, bye-bye. Okay, so that was Bharat. You can give him a thumbs up. That was, uh, you know, he's, he's being very brave, putting himself out there. Um, let's see, Ramesh Kumar, maybe Ramesh is still there. Okay, are you ready, uh, Ramesh? Let's see. Ramesh is over in our general uh, IELTS channel. Sundesh, I see you up there too. Thank you for the hearts. Okay, Ramesh. Hello, Ramesh. I hear that you picked up, but I do not hear your voice. Did you enable your microphone? Check your microphone, check your headset, check your settings. One way to do this, Ramesh, is check it with somebody else, and then once it's working, come back and ping me again, okay? I definitely can't hear you, so um, we're having connectivity issues. If you're using a VPN or um, some device that's not being recognized, then uh, you need to check into that, okay? And then come back, and I will look for you again, okay? All right. Uh, sometimes it can be like a, a block internationally as well. Jabakir is here though. Jabakir looks like Jabakir wants to volunteer. Okay. Jabakir. Okay, Jabakir, are you ready? Hopefully, Jab we've connected with Jabakir before. So Jabakir, I believe, has the ability to be audible if Jabakir is still here get in there students volunteer put yourself forward the best way to become a confident speaker is to do a lot of public speaking and here one kind of advantage is we can't see you so you you're we only hear you so you don't have to freak out quite as much Rashika thank you for the claps I would love to see you volunteer as well uh, Rashika. Okay. All right. Jabakir, are you ready? Are you with us? Let's have at least one more person do this part two. Okay, I'm not getting a response from Jabakir, so I'll check back, but I can see that Ghazi here has stepped up to the plate. It's a baseball idiom, meaning Ghazi is ready. Uh, Ghazi, yes, you can volunteer. Are you ready? Okay, so I'm just switching between people, seeing if they're ready. I need to make sure that you haven't actually got up and gone to get yourself some ice cream. <laughs> Ghazi is ready. Maybe I have more of a lag today or delay. Hi, Ghazi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. How is the east coast of Canada? Good, good. It's good so far. The weather is warm and uh, everything is okay. This year there's no a lot of uh, snow. Uh, uh, they say usually the snow and these days uh, one meters, but this year I didn't see anything. So you didn't have to shovel as much snow, right? Not as much. No, it's okay. I like it. That's kind of practice. It's exercise. exercise. You build muscles. Yeah, exercise. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Instead of uh, walking. Yeah. 
Yeah. Instead of lifting yeah. weights, you shovel snow. Sure. It's a positive yeah, exactly. way, a positive way yeah. to look at it, right? Yeah, you okay. like it. Yeah. All right, Ghazi. Um, okay, so let's do this um, <coughs> part two speaking. Here we go. Uh, so okay. talking about favorite dessert, up to you mm. what you answer. I'm going to start you off, okay? So here we go. Um, talk about your favorite dessert. Your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. Uh, actually, uh, the vivart uh, sweet is uh, uh, Kal Harissa. Uh, it is very uh, common uh, in my country, Syria. Uh, it is uh, uh, made from uh, sugar and uh, flour. There are specific kind of uh, flours, white uh, 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 wheat. Uh, and uh, after uh, uh, people prepare it, uh, it should uh, put in uh, uh, oven for uh, 20 minutes uh, at uh, 400 Celsius. Uh, uh, after that, uh, you can keep it for five minutes until uh, be uh, cold and uh, it is will be ready for uh, eat. And some people uh, like to add it, uh, a syrup on uh, the surface. Uh, yeah, it is very common and uh, usually I prepare it at home if I have uh, enough time. And sometimes I just go to the sweetie uh, store in my uh, town and I can uh, uh, purchase uh, one dish uh, is worth about uh, $3. Uh, and uh, most people like it in my own country and myself. Um, the main reason uh, is uh, rich in uh, calories. Uh, and people like to eat it uh, in winter because it's rich in calories and uh, it's helped to increase uh, body temperature and keep people uh, warm. Uh, just last uh, month, I uh, went to the same uh, stores when the temperature was below the zero, and I uh, consumed some. Uh, after that, uh, I uh, your time is up. I have to stop you there, um, and now yeah. we will continue with part three. So they they eventually will stop you. <clears throat> Sorry, if you keep speaking, yeah, they'll they'll, they'll stop you. But that was pretty yeah. good, okay? I, I got a really good idea of a popular dessert in Syria, which is called harissa, right? Harissa, yeah. I hope you uh, try it before. <laughs> when I see it, I definitely will try it. I haven't heard of it. It's new for me, um, but it sounds exciting. And um, yeah. when I uh, see it in my travels, I will give that a try. Definitely. It sounds delicious. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, Once good. I will miss you, I will... <laughs> Thank you, we'll make some harissa for me. Thank you, yeah. Ghazi. Um, yeah, welcome. so your structure was really good, okay? So you talked about yeah. what it is, um, how to make yeah. it, right? Um, yeah. What are the ingredients? Um, you yeah. checked the card, which was really good. Like, I, I realized that you thought about, okay, I have to answer, like, what people think about it. And you said most people in yeah. my country like it because it helps them to stay warm on the weekend. So overall, it was really good. So your structure is good. So you have the right idea. Yeah. And when you have yeah. the right idea, it's kind of like Bharat, who we just heard. Both of you have yeah. a very clear idea on how to answer effectively. And that's yeah. helping you to maximize your score. Your score for this speaking would be somewhat similar to Bharat's. It'd be around a 5.5 to 6 for the same reasons. Um, you have to build your fluency a bit more yeah. and a little bit better with accuracy. But as far as structure and content and coherence, those are yeah. great, okay? So you're doing a really good job there. Um, like, for example, you said, and sometimes I go to the sweetie store, um, it's called a confectionery. Confectionery. Yeah. Or cake shop, you can say cake shop, but confectionery oh. is the actual correct uh, term. 
Yeah, we call City Suite or something or <laughs> like this. Yeah, nice. there might be the name of a shop, but we wouldn't like a sweets shop. Uh, yeah, just sweet. The, yeah. the, the store name, yeah. So, confectionery. Remember this word, oh. confectionery, when oh. I go to the confectionery in my town. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, you use some good uh, quantitative language as well. You said it costs about $3 uh, for a slice. Okay. Um, yeah. So that was good. Okay. Um, and I should yeah. write flour, specific type of flour. Um, okay. So Ghazi, uh, you're doing what you need to do. You're practicing. You're paying attention to structure. More and more practice. Yeah. Have you started um, family English hour at home? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I uh, started uh, use your uh, recipe and everything is okay now. Good. Yeah. Good. 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 I'm yeah, happy to hear it. Too, I feel better than before, even my once year. No, I, I focus in my I mind all the time. Okay, so the problem and the speed. So yeah, I I I'm keep uh, practice now practice perfect this. and I can hear it I can hear it I'm sure that uh, some of our viewers and members who are regular here and I think they've heard you a couple of times I'm sure they'll agree yeah. with me that they can also hear that you're improving so there's definitely like yeah. you can hear that incremental improvement okay Ghazi thank you so much uh, for volunteering today I hope you come back again and, and keep volunteering in the future okay yeah sure thank you I appreciate that uh, Adrian and I will I told you I will uh, book an appointment with you uh, once I will book uh, for the exam perfect I look forward to it okay Ghazi yeah. have a wonderful rest of your Friday you too see you later bye 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 all right so that was Ghazi he's over on East Coast Canada he's moved here from Syria now he's looking to come to BC which is fantastic um, students, uh, we're going to stop there for today. We've run out of time, um, but we heard a couple of nice responses for this topic of sweets and favorite desserts. Um, me with strawberry ice cream, Barat with strawberry ice cream, and Ghazi now uh, with this Syrian dessert that we should all try. It's called Harissa. Probably spelt that wrong, but... Uh, We'll maybe check that out. Arisa, nice thumbs up, everybody. Okay, um, tomorrow we've got lots more speaking. We've got speaking part three and speaking part uh, one coming up tomorrow. Um, so you can do more volunteering then. We will have lots of practice uh, for those classes. And remember, aehelp.com for academic IELTS and gieltshelp.com for general IELTS. Uh, those websites will help you get your desired scores, okay? Uh, you can still use this discount, one band up, uh, to get 20% uh, off the regular price. I look forward to seeing everybody tomorrow. Have a lovely start to your weekend. I'm Adrian. I'm signing out from Victoria. Much love to all of you wherever you are in our wonderful world. Bye for now.